All right, welcome back everybody with Waves and Sound. Finally, we are going to start talking about sound, how it works, how it functions as a wave, and everything like that. So here we go. All right, a lot of notes at the beginning here. Sound. Sound is a type of mechanical wave that results from the vibration of particles in a medium, such as air, water, or solids. Uh, these air, liquid, or solids, I to say. These vibrations uh, create longitudinal waves where particles oscillate back and forth in the same direction as the wave, uh, the waves propagate, uh, waves propagation. Sound requires a medium. So we talked a little bit about this, like air, water, or solids, to travel. It cannot propagate in a vacuum space. So, yeah, it needs, um, yeah, it needs something to distribute itself from so again sound is a wave so that wave needs to I guess ride along something so it could ride along air it could ride along water it could ride along a solid but it cannot ride uh, but if there's nothing like in space there's nothing no air or anything then it cannot propagate anywhere so if you scream in space no one can hear you uh, the speed of sound depends on the medium. It is faster in solids. Molecules are more dense, but slower in gases. Molecules are more spread out. In air, sound uh, in air sound travels at about 340 meters per second, which we'll be using a bit to solve a few problems in this uh, part of the unit. All right, let's move on. All right, the speed of sound. So sound is a peri is periodic pressure waves through uh, traveling through a medium. Sound can travel through any solid, liquid, or gas. So typically in air, it will travel 343 meters per second. This can actually change depending on how cold or how hot it is, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, you'll notice that when it's colder, that it goes down. So 331 meters per second at zero degrees Celsius. Um, you'll also notice in other types of air, uh, air, other types of gases, uh, it'll travel different speeds. So in hydro, in helium, it goes around 1,000 meters per second. Hydrogen, 1,300 meters per second. Water, 1,400 meters per second. That's why if you've ever tried to talk underwater and you're underwater, it sounds very different and it's going a lot faster than uh, what you're used to. Seawater, 1,560. And then you'll notice with the solids, it goes very, very fast, okay? Because all, all the molecules are a lot more dense, everything is much more dense, and it's able to travel a lot more quickly through the dense material. The wave is able to travel a lot more quickly. Nowadays they have like, anyway, I don't want to go through that tangent. All right, <laughs> let's do some problems. All right, a video showing this, which is pretty cool, so just watching it. All right, why does sound travel faster on a warm day than on a cold day? A, air, air is denser on warm days. B, molecules move faster at higher temperatures. C, air becomes less elastic as it heats up. D, the speed of sound is independent of temperature. Uh, the answer is molecules move faster at higher temperatures. I didn't really give any prior knowledge to uh, let you affirm this, but this is the reason, you know, things move faster when it is high, uh, heat, uh, when the, it's hotter. All right, move, uh, moving on. In which uh, medium does sound travel the fastest? Air, water, steel, vacuum. This is, um, okay, again, pause the video if you want to try to figure things out for yourself and then see if you're correct. But the answer is going to be steel. It travels the fastest through solids. That's where things are most dense. And when things are dense, it's able to travel through that dense material a lot quicker than air, which is not very dense. So it's going to be harder for sound. Not harder, but it's going to be slower for it to travel through that. Um, do that. All right, moving on. If the speed of sound in air at 20 degrees is 343 meters per second, what would happen to the speed if the temperature increased to 30 degrees Celsius? We kind of talked about this earlier. Again, pause the video if you want. But remember, the hotter something is, the faster the molecules are moving. The faster the molecules are moving, it would uh, go. The the speed of sound will be able to go faster, so it would increase. Okay, so we learned about speed and distance and time already, but if you forgot, here's just a little bit of a refresher and the manipulations below. So example 11, speed of sound. 
In an auditorium, sound takes 0.02 seconds to travel from the speaker to a listener seated 6.86 meters away. What is the speed of sound in, in air in the auditorium? Okay, so this guy talks. Uh, it takes a time of 0 0.02 seconds to reach them. And they are 6.86 meters away. So we want to know what speed is this sound traveling in in this medium. We're just doing speed equals distance over time. Distance is 6.86. The time is 0 0.02. And let's put that into our calculator. 680, oops, 6.86 divided by 0 0.02, 343 meters per second. Okay, moving on. A hiker shouts and hears the echo after 3.5 seconds. If the speed of sound in the air is 340 meters per second, how far is the canyon wall? So this guy uh, shouts. The sound propagates, and then it hits the wall, and then comes back, right? So we know speed is equal to distance over time, but this time we're looking for how far it is, so we're looking for distance. So let's manipulate this. We can know that distance is equal to the speed times the time. So speed is 340 meters per second. That's given to us, and the time is 3.5 seconds. So this gives us a distance of... 340 times 3.5, 11, uh, 1,190 meters. However, that is not the answer. That is not how far the echo is from this person. Uh, because that is how far the sound wave travels. It goes from here and then here back. So that's the total trip, 1,190 meters. So this would be half of that, 1,190 divided by 2. Okay. And 1190 divided by 2 is equal to 595 meters. All right, hope that made sense. Watch it again if it was a little bit confusing, but hopefully it was good. All right, moving on. How long does it take for sound to travel 1 mile, 1609 meters, through air if the speed of sound is 340 meter, meters per second? So again, speed is equal to distance divided by time. This time we're looking for time. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. And now let's pick, plug things in. One mile or 1609 meters divided by the speed, 340 meters per second. Divided by 340. And we get 4.73 seconds. So pretty fast, pretty fast. Faster than in human, that's for sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> All right, so that's the speed of sound. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, next time, I'm going to do a very short lesson talking about loudness, intensity, and decibels, and things like that. So I hope to see you with that one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.